Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, was accused of being a jail convict. Meghan Markle spent a disturbed childhood struggling with separated parents. Many also believe that she was brought up on her own as her mother was in prison for years. The accusations were not completely false either, as someone with the same name as Ragland was convicted in prison for years. Royal author Tom Bauer had officially mentioned in his book that Meghan Markle's mother was a drug dealer. Doria Ragland was not only a heavy drug user, but also a dealer. Tom Bauer can't for legal reasons explain why Doria was absent for 10 years from Meghan's life, but it's clear that drugs continue to play a huge part in the Sussex camp. Doria had protection for six years. Unlike the Markles, considering how they were haunted, misquoted and smeared by the media campaign, and then by random people online, just by being related, PR on orders by their own family members, who were assisted orchestrating that's why on earth would they trust being treated fairly enough to spill the beans on Doria, whose daughter willingly sues anyone. Tom Bauer's book, Out Soon, will focus on Doria's absence from Meghan, aged 5 to 18. Nonetheless, everyone is yet to know the full truth. Royal fans have three theories. One, she was convicted in a different state, maybe even federally, and therefore the records might not be public per that state's laws made a deal. She gives me snitch vibes. Finding which state and combing through old records not yet digitised takes time. Two, she had a record expunged. All that's left will be local newspaper accounts. During the 80s, there were hundreds if not thousands of papers in the US. 3. Court records have been destroyed. Think how many natural disasters that have occurred in the past 30 years. Hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, serious floods. If this is the case, see number 2. Just like Meghan's medical files, as well as many other documents, they're sealed, so are Doria's. Someone with enough power buried information that wasn't going to look good in the news. Doria isn't licensed to perform social work without a supervisor. That's one of the reasons why it's fishy she has a company that is a geriatric care service and home, but she doesn't hold an independent license, so she can't operate in California or anywhere else as a social worker without a supervisor. Associate is a master level social work provisional license requiring thousands of hours in supervised social work in order to apply to sit for the exam to become a social worker who can perform independently. Someone pointed out that Doria tried to blame tax fraud on Thomas Markle, but he had proof that he was innocent. One royal fan commented, There was nothing strange about Meghan as a child. Father Markle had paid for a business for Doria. He was a silent investor. Doria didn't pay taxes for years. The IRS shows up, as this is a crime in the US. Doria was taken to court along with Father Markle. The jury didn't believe Doria because there was no indication that Father M had anything to do with this issue. Only God knows what she was thinking by implicating Father M. By doing so, this got her in even more trouble, hence four years in prison. I don't know about dealing drugs, which I'd not be surprised as it was Los Angeles. It may be that a sentence on drug charges were reduced. However, she did serve the four years. I don't know if she got out early, which isn't unusual for good behaviour, etc. As far as not finding these records, she'd proven herself to the court by getting a BS and being an exemplary citizen. Hence, a record can be expunged. 